S321. Welcome, <laughs> everyone, to podcast. Thank you, thank you, my dear. Welcome to another episode of podcast. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm too old to hide myself <laughs> up for this shit. Uh, hi everyone. Hey, welcome to another episode of podcast. Today we have Shetha here. Hello, Shetha. Um, hi. You want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, my name is. <laughs> okay, name? I, yeah. yeah, but maybe I, I just give con- con- context why Shetha is here. Uh, actually, PR production is almost at its ten anniversary. Almost. Ooh. When did we start? If we if we count I, by I the remember. first video that we done, then somewhere in June, July. Yeah, but I I rather than wait the June July, I, might, I thought I might as well just do it now since <laughs> one. And you're also a busy man now, right? Because yeah. You just have a kid. I just have a kid. He is almost three months already. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. should be so quite tough. Late quite nights. Late nights. <laughs> <laughs> Got sleep or not last night? Got la. <laughs> Got la. <laughs> <laughs> now nowadays I wake up at uh, around four a.m. five a.m. like that. <laughs> new feet, right? Yeah, new feet. Yeah, their, their feeding cycle is quite short. Right? Yeah. Like every few hours, new feet. It's like thinking up another job like that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Unpaid. Ah, You're paid by love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I thought it'd be interesting to talk about some of the things mm. that I've learned. Uh, Wait, did you say it was ten years? Yeah, ten oh, years. Ten years. Okay. We started when we were in oh, year yeah. three. Uh, my year three lah. So your year year two. Oh. Year two. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, oh, it's, oh, sorry, I haven't given enough context. So, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, when I first started the channel and started making video, uh, Shieta was the one that was with me. La. So, mm. if you look at the first few videos that we have done, um, most of the time, if I'm in front of the camera, he is behind the camera. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I think some of the early editings also were done by him because mm. I was still learning how to edit and you have a bit more... I experience so called like you uh, know a bit more uh, basics lah. I wouldn't say experience lah, but it's it, it's really all learned from YouTube. Yeah, no? just try and error, run and gun. Like, eh, how to do this? Then Google. Yeah, <laughs> then they will tell you some instructions. Yeah. They just try to carry on from there lah. A lot of copying from other YouTubers. Yeah. Right? So mm. so I uh, I met Shetha when we were doing our OCIP lah. Mm. Yeah. So uh yeah from there that time you were like the assigned photographer. I actually volunteered to become a photographer oh, then. It? Yeah. Because uh during army that time I had an interest in photography. La. Mm. Somehow, like a lot of boys in army. In army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, army there you have a little bit of cash. I don't to be honest, I don't remember why I had this uh, interest in photography. But I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and I think one of them was uh one of the channels was Digital Ref TV. I don't know whether you know or not. That's the Hong Kong one. Yeah, that's the Hong Kong one. The Hong Kong guy. Then they were reviewing, um, they were reviewing uh equipments, uh camera equipments. Then they had they did a lot of street photography. So I was like, eh, quite interesting, ah. Uh. We ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and go out <laughs> and go, go, go and shoot, la. So mm. that's how I got started. I got started in photography, la. That's why I also, um, during the OCIP itself, we went to Thailand. Then I was thinking, eh, why not just make make use of my skills as a photographer, then go take more photos. Lo. But that yeah. time you bought your own camera, yeah? Yeah, I bought my own Second camera hand. with the Miss Lee pay from NS. Oh. <laughs> Second hand camera, nice. yes. Yeah. yeah, I still remember. For those people who know, it's a Nikon D90. I guess no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been into the yeah, yeah. Nikon e- ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so you're the one who suggested that we should go for Canon, right? Correct. Because, yeah. to be honest, Nikon... We I think I think I remember video wise yeah, Canon I, that time was like way better. Yeah. So I remember I like, we for for the OCIP itself, I think I also had the idea to actually do some like video montage la, mm. for, for the for the OCIP. Then the the quality come up wow, really sweet. Oh really yeah. <laughs> Cannot make it. Because the resolution then oh. Yeah. I so that that was like the infancy of like I guess people are starting to use more and more DSLR yeah. to start yeah. filming videos. Correct, yeah, correct. I think from then on, I think manufacturers or cameras tend to put a bit more effort into the quality of their videos in their yeah. DSLR. Because people no longer just take photos, they take a lot more videos. Yeah. And then with YouTube rising also. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, I remember that... Actually, how did it even get started? No, okay. So, for my case, mm. 
I got started because of the HR module. Oh yeah, remember? I remember. Yeah, so straight okay. also we also we both study chemical engineering. So all engineering <laughs> uh students in NUS you have to go through a HR module. Mm. HR two HR like two. human resources. They, it's part under HR, but oh. it's actually about. What's the title? <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember <laughs> what is it about. Like. It's about it. Basically, is kind of like preparing you for the working life, that like um, working relationships. Because mm. I guess they see that engineers are not exactly very social creatures. <laughs> 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 so in some sense, they feel like they needed yeah. like engineers needed some exposure to some of these things. So I think it's about like conflict management, yeah. about like problem solving, working in a team. Yeah, I remember specifically, I used our OCIP as our project to, to what's that word? Um, not analyze, but use it as a case study. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I even did a survey with our Orion people. Yeah, Orion, Operation Orion, shout out to Operation Orion. <laughs> I don't know whether they are still alive. The, <laughs> <laughs> huh? I think the, the OCIP... I mean, now cannot go overseas anyway. I, yeah. The past two years. It should be I think she should still be alive. La, but I don't see anything on their Facebook. But anyway, that's... Bit, uh, whatever is already past. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I use it as a case study. So we had to do... One of the key deliverables for the project, for that module, was a video. From your case study, you can do a skit, you can do a presentation, actually any f- way that you want to present it, but it must be a video. That was the criteria. Yeah, so I remember we did a skit. La. I don't have the video anymore. I, I didn't shoot it. So at the time, I decided to take up the uh, the role of um, scripting the the video. So I did all the scripting. Uh, my one friend, he was able to shoot. La. So he, he he's also interested in cameras and stuff. So so I let, let leave the shooting and editing done by him but I did all the storyboarding and decide how like the shots are done what are the shots that we need to capture so going through that experience uh, I think we did quite well people like enjoyed the video I did uh, I did you enjoy remember? it quite a lot yeah, it's, it's damn funny it was damn funny it was a sitcom <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's like after the after the encounter then we will have interview yeah, yeah it's a bit like sitcom right? Not, like, like the, the office. office the office is very <laughs> heavily <laughs> inspired <laughs> <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, yeah. And after that, there's things happening behind. <laughs> after that, the interview is in front, like talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and I still remember. <laughs> I remember there's a fight scene <laughs> with Shu Chou. <laughs> no, I, I can't remember. It was then dumb. Then, uh, yeah, so that kind of like kicked off my interest. Mm-hmm. La. Like, I started realizing eh, it's quite fun because whatever you visualize and you think about, you can actually um, make it materialize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's such a fun way to like, whatever I imagine can come out as something that people can watch also. So that also inspired me to kind of like do something more interesting. So during the the summer break, uh, yeah, yeah, after exam, then uh, I showed you to, to film something. Uh. Correct. Yeah. yeah. But so, how come you never show the other guy? Uh? He... I don't think he's that interested in making all these things like... Mm. Yeah, he but the edit them good. Huh? <laughs> the edit you really like? Yeah, <laughs> <not bad. laughs> the first video is called "Hey Gloria." Yeah, yeah so I guess the time mm. I was still going through my emo, <laughs> emo stages <laughs> in life, and okay, so I also watched a lot of Wong Fu. Yes. Uh, what else did I watch? Huh? I don't know lah. This kind of like very sentimental kind of relationship related kind of videos that I really enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. So so I wanted to do something. I would say similar. And also, I think I get time, I also have... Like, for me, I, I like how music is being used in a video and how to... And editing with the pace of a music and using the music as a way to to frame the story. Yeah. So, so Hey Gloria was played with... Uh, the background music was, I think, Adele's... Uh, what? Chasing someone, someone Like You. Oh. Someone Like You. It was a violin cover. I still remember that guy's name. The Jun Kari yeah, or whatever. Kari. I think he changed his uh, username in YouTube already. Is it? Yeah, he's that same guy that acted in the... I don't know, those Asian-American community guy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so so I remember specifically like... I, I planned out based on like... Oh, the starting of the song was the build up of like... The, the relationship and then... I don't know, I remember the bridge was like the climax where everything falls apart 
And then the ending is more like how that guy, or rather me, pick myself up and I guess like, you know, be more hopeful about love again. Something along those lines, lah. Right. Yeah. So so yeah, and then we, we just shot it for fun. I remember how long did we take to shoot? Lah? Maybe one week. You have to summer. borrow your, your dad's car or something, right? <laughs> I yeah, I, I remember we drove around. <laughs> I'm, I remember begging my dad for the car. Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a car, or cannot? Got car. I try, try. Maybe this weekend, try, try. Then you will tell me, yeah, I got the car. That's sweet. Let's go. It's really two of us. Yeah, Yan Yi, right? Yeah, Yan Yi. So, so we got Yan Yi. Yan Yi was also uh someone that we know from the OCIP. Yeah, so three of us were just running around doing it. So there's no lights. Uh, we don't have to worry about sound because there's almost no sound in the there's no sound. Uh, there's the starting uh, starting that's the you know we act the cleaning scene <laughs> then we knock over the, the photo oh okay, Th- okay that was part of wait that's not Horizon right that's no, not no, Horizon no, no, no. wait the oh, yeah, 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 cry, is cry, it cry, no no cry then we use we, we had a, 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 a we have photos right remember we have a deck of photos that yeah, you yeah, yeah. from you correct. is it all, all the photos were from me. Yeah. <laughs> you have this bunch of photos. Yeah. Y- y- y'all can go and watch the first video that I ever made. It's called Hey Gloria. If you go and search. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then, yeah, I remember specifically also that there's one scene that we shoot at the overhead bridge. <laughs> it was <laughs> then when we, we realized that when we were shooting there, then yeah, you, there's a scene where she was taking the photo, right? Oh, yeah. So the female character died. <laughs> I suddenly remember. She died in a plane crash. <laughs> then we had to act, oh, yeah. uh, act out an uh, angry, frustrated scene in, in the Changi Airport. <laughs> Without any prior training of, <laughs> of acting. At so all. cringe, oh my god. <laughs> damn cringe. Now I look back, it's damn cringe. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's good times. Yeah. Wait, guys. So after I realised, I don't know whether I pressed... Okay, okay, I did it. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I didn't see. Can't see. Yeah. So, yeah, that was quite fun. We, we did it. Uh, I remember having trouble coming up with a channel name. Mm. I think I ran through you also. Like, I don't know what to come up with. Yeah. Initially, some... I don't know. I was thinking of something relating to lake. <laughs> because I was like running at the lake. <laughs> Drum like lake. I was thinking... I was trying to get inspiration. Yeah. Then I decided to go with something more, I guess, Chinese. With Piao. Yeah. Because I have a email that has Piao. Oh, I don't yeah. talk about it. <laughs> but, yeah, don't get spammed. But yeah, I have a Piao inside the, the email. Uh, Yeah. And I thought Piao is kind of like a simple word that is quite nice. There's a ring to it, I feel. Yeah. And then I remember the initial logo you tried to design, right? <laughs> the Chinese word. I think the first few video we have that, that, that logo it, there. It, it's just the default font. <laughs> then <after laughs> that, that, the word Piao. <laughs> the Chinese word Piao. Productions below. Then after that, we, <laughs> we moved on from there. I created a more yeah. simplified version. Yeah. So what's your logo now? Now I just use the broadcast. Oh, yeah. like this yeah, one. This one. <laughs> yeah. Piao Productions has fallen. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean it's still there. La. Is it still there? I mean, it's there. It's still there. Yeah, the logo still is still there. there. Oh. Yeah. I don't know whether I have the working phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like, the, deleted. like, oh shit, whether I have the working phone. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yes, that was, yeah, that was close to 10 years ago. 2012, yeah. no? 2012 until now. Yeah. I still yeah. remember the the camera that we used for the first video, right? It's not even mine. You borrowed, right? I borrowed, I I borrowed my, for my fa- friend. So essentially, every all the gear, everything that we, that we have, were all yeah. borrowed. Yeah. So the cost of the video was like, it's almost, just almost cost zero. of time, lah. <laughs> cost of time. <laughs> then yeah. Adobe also, I don't think we paid for it. <laughs> that version, <laughs> that version where we did that one. Sensor. <laughs> Sensor. <laughs> hey, Adobe, I've been paying okay for subscription for many years already. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So oh yeah, that was so long ago. But uh, yeah, I think after that, uh, we post it up. Um, I think it did get quite good reactions from our friends. Lah. Yeah. Generally, people thought it was quite a nice video. Correct. Yeah. And after that, uh, we were, eh? I can't remember who told me or is it you told me or something about the Cathay motion pictures. I don't think it was me. Yeah. So I Cathay, remember. I don't know whether they still, it, still do it now, but Cathay back then, they, uh, they started a... A filming competition. Mm. Yeah. Um, it was the 70th anniversary. So anyone can just sign up. 
So, uh, I was like, I think that time was in, oh, when school starts already, right? I think September or something. Yeah, yeah, it was during school. Yeah, it was during school period. School period yeah. So, um, I think after that K-Gloria, we didn't shoot anything because school started. And because it was too tiring. Really. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. Then, uh, then when the competition came, we were like, hey, fuck it, la. let's just give this a try la, and see see where it goes. So I remember signing up. Uh, I remember they emailed us the team, but they said they would give only the details on the day of the briefing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we we had the team. The team is... um. What was the team? Uh? Again? <laughs> uh? I don't know whether I still have the email. No. I can't remember. Eh. I think it's called... Celebration. No, it's Celebration. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're right. Celebration. It's celebration. So it was like Celebration. Uh, So... After I see the the, the the team, I actually start scripting already. Mm. Yeah. As, but right, you're not supposed to script it because they say... Did they give the time limit? They, give, they did give. They say within... 70 hours. Or 70, yeah. I think it's that 70, 70 hours. So, like so they say it's 70 hours yeah. to, to, to Pro- produce the video. But they don't want to give us details yet. Yeah. So to me, it's like, wow, 70 hours to produce one video means... You need to start planning already, lah. Yeah. You you wait until last minute. You plan also problematic. So so I started scripting this idea of a of a also still related to relationship, and then uh, and it's gonna I thought it's gonna be a seven to ten minute like skit. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like you need to build up like how they met each other, and then how they uh got together, and then like uh. Yeah, the, the, I, know, I remember specifically the team is just basically this guy met this girl at a movie theater. Uh, or rather, happened to meet her when he's sitting by himself? <laughs> or he accidentally <laughs> bought two tickets or something. La. Then uh, he somehow met the girl and asked her whether she wanted to watch or so. So, so that's how they got to know each other through that movie. After the movie, they hang out for the rest of the day. And they got closer lah. And then um he's supposed to get her phone number. He got it on a tissue paper, but he lost the tissue paper or some shit lah. So from then he couldn't find her. So it's like a bit like uh, Cinderella. Hmm. <laughs> like he's trying to find her. So his idea to find her was to go back to the same cinema and buy two tickets every day. Or every week on the same day and same timing. Ho- hopefully to see her again. Yeah, and finally, the ending is that he, she managed to, she appeared lah at the end. Yeah, so we had this plan out, then, and then we, we when we went to the theatre, because it was at the theatre where the briefing happened. Yeah, then they say, oh, this one is a 70, 70 second video in 70 hours. That was like 70 seconds. <laughs> How am I going to make this 7 minute video in 70 seconds? Yeah, so we brainstormed a bit, we decided to go with like a more trailer style short skit la. yeah yeah which actually works out for because at least 70 seconds means you just need to do small small text la. Yeah. you don't need to do too many shots also yeah yeah, yeah. actually they're quite forward looking oh. 70 seconds like a tiktok video or something like that <laughs> tiktok <laughs> not even tiktok tiktok where you got 70 YouTube seconds shots. YouTube, <laughs> yeah, shots. YouTube shots <laughs> yeah forward looking so yeah we shot everything I remember it was quite fun but it was like we Barely had any sleep. Yeah. And the night before, we were still editing. I remember them hectic. Yeah. The whole, the whole period. Then in the morning, we were like half half awake. Then we would go to... I think, was it over a weekend? I feel like it was, right? Maybe like Friday to Sunday. Or is it like... I can't remember. Probably is. Or we probably just fuck everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I remember that experience taught me that I suck at narrating. <laughs> <laughs> You remember, I think I did like 50 over takes. Eh? Yeah. I think that was the hardest part of the video. Because uh, I always had like, okay, like, I I, I, I think I, I know or like I enjoy like pacing out. I know how a script should be read. Yeah. Like I how, how to make the pauses and so on. But my voice sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that was the first time I really like keep hearing my own voice. I think when you first started, you hear your own voice, you're also like, Ew. like yeah. mm. that's gross, right? I think I had that. And it was painful because I keep re- re-recording and until a point where I think I woke up morning and then I think how we record was uh, the boom mic. 
and I record into the camera. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so, right? Sounds familiar, right? Sounds that, familiar. This, that was the best quality audio that we could get. Yeah, so I remember I did a few things, and then you would be like, you sound very dead. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes I was just like, I think I tried so hard that, like I tried to sound emo, but not really. I tried to sound like, what's that word? You know, like good narration, usually people have very good deep voices. Like yeah. rich like deep, voices. Yeah, very yeah. rich. Yeah, but my voice d- doesn't have that. Mm. Yeah, Or rather, maybe I don't have the confidence or trying to, I'm trying to sound like someone that I'm yeah. not. I, I, I think I, that was the issue. I think it was yeah. that. Because I, I don't know. I, I think it also leads to our other video whereby we had uh, dialogue also. Uh, like the way how Singaporeans speak English. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It just makes me... Uh, yeah, it, it, it's not. It doesn't have the the emotion that. Yeah, like, that's not a thing too. It's like when you watch Channel Five and then you hear them speak English, it's a bit weird. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, so so. Uh, wow, that was a very painful experience. Yeah, but I remember when after the the video was done, uh, we were selected as top twenty five, right? Yeah, out of. That's the question. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> I would like to think one thousand. <laughs> Remember the data was quite few. Yeah. A lot because the price was quite good. Like 10k. Uh. Was wow. it 10k? I know yeah. it's a lot of money. Then we were fantasizing. What wow, is 10k? 10k, uh. 10K can how, buy how, how will we go? How many cameras can we buy? Uh? <laughs> well, can start a production company oh, already. Uh. Well, like, we can go full time yeah. already. <laughs> 10k. Yeah, so uh yeah, but we were top 25. So you suspect that quite a lot of people also drop out also. Mm, Some, yeah, maybe I think maybe there were a good 40 people, 40 teams at least participating, 40 to 50. I would like to think, lah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because during the brief, they invited everyone there, right? Yeah, it's quite uh, a lot. So people. it was the whole cinema was actually quite packed, I yeah. remember. Mm. So, uh, yeah, then the only thing I hated was that there was a voting phase where <laughs> yeah. it's popularity contest la. Mm. so so and it's dragged over like what two three weeks or a month so then every day you have a vote so it's like you have to every day vote or every day bug your friends mm. to vote for you mm. which I essentially did la. and it was like every reached a point I just like I'm so tired of this <laughs> yeah it's like selling out of there la. <laughs> just like oh fuck it's for their promotion like, yeah, no choice. yeah and we didn't even win the p- so they said I think Voting was like 30%. Judges was still 70%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we... So, in the end, we, we didn't win. <laughs> but we were like... Oh, we were top... Top three... Votes, votes, votes we were right? like top... Top three or four. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Your pops, yeah? We, we, we forced people to vote. <laughs> so. Initially, we were like top two yeah. or three. Yeah. Then, I think later on, people got one or two videos they caught up. Right. Then we suspect, yeah, that one, Bible. church one, uh, <laughs> church, uh, ask a whole church to, <laughs> I, I don't know, I have this conspiracy, like, that one, uh, last week, sure, ask the whole entire fucking church to, to vote for them or some shit. Uh, nah. Like, essentially, we also did, uh, we also, yeah, <laughs> reached out to everyone, hey, and vote, we always vote. steady increase, uh, yeah, yeah. always like, like yeah, that one, uh, steady, but then it's like, suddenly, spike up one, uh, so they somehow managed to reach a huge audience to mm. a huge group of people to, to vote for them. Mm. That's where my conspiracy <laughs> 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 Yeah. But looking back, that video uh, was quite... I mean, I think some of the scenes were quite good. But like the sound quality... The, the sound music was too loud. I have no <laughs> idea why. Eh. I looked at it, I was like, why did I think it was okay? I think because... That, we, I think because we knew the script. Mm. So it sounded very clear to us what the narrator, which is me, was saying. But I, when I watch it back again, it's like I barely can hear myself. Hmm. Yeah. Probably you edited using headphones. Yeah, yeah. That's why. I use headphones. I could hear myself. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. That was interesting experience. But I think that also kind of like made me realize that, hey, maybe I have something to offer or like something to... There's something that I can work on more. Yeah. Wait, so do you win anything? Uh, A pet in the back, oh. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Anything, Place uh? what? No, la, I never win anything. Uh. Top. Go, you yeah, mean? I really win nothing. No, no, no. Oh, we got invited to the prize the, presentation. Yeah. So we had free food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all. We had free food. Then we went to drink after. Yeah. One, one tower. <laughs> and then we died. <laughs> Remember specifically that night yeah. when we went to drink, we were like, oh, celebrate. We, we both order one tower. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh. Then 
<laughs> go home right I still go home, home by right? You go home by bus I think you're driving yeah. I had to take MRT yeah. Then I remember In the MRT That's the story <laughs> where I I was like <laughs> Holding in Then my leg My knees keep giving way While in the MRT <laughs> Which I'm quite sure I draw a lot of eyes <laughs> In the MRT But I was so drunk That I, I couldn't be fucked I was literally If I let go of my hand I would have collapsed on the floor <laughs> I managed like, to get a seat <laughs> <laughs> Until drunk is there I managed to get a seat Then I sleep for like Two station and woke up Yeah yeah, that was quite fun. Yeah, that was very interesting. But yeah, I think that kind of like kickstart my, I guess, interest in realizing that maybe I can do more of uh, all these things, lah. More serious, la. Yeah, I wouldn't say was it serious. I guess so. Yeah, cause right after that, yeah, I want to see the timeline. I can't remember whether I start vlogging first. No, I remember after that probably we started buying more equipment also. Mm. We bought a new camera, new lens. Yeah, I think I bought new the things. camera. Then you bought the lens, right? Yeah. The lens still new. Mm. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Oh, this one is the funny, funny, random. Did, did we shoot oh, together okay. with Hey Gloria? Probably. Yeah, I think we did, right? Oh, this, this is a dumb... Yeah, this one, we, we were taking a break or something. Yeah. Then yeah, we shoot this Opa Canem style. <laughs> 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 Damn dumb. But people love it. Is it 2K view, eh? <laughs> Yeah, more than hey Gloria. <laughs> yeah, then we did a oh we did a parody of I'm McDonald. That time they have a recruitment ad. Yeah, I'm more and McDonald. Yeah, then we make a parody out of it. Somehow okay. we pivoted to comedy. Yeah, I, I guess <laughs> I guess that's like naturally. But is it we came back to Horizon? Yeah, yeah. So Horizon was a uh, was the for the year after la. I think it was in year four already. Yeah. Then uh, we, we made that video. Oh, now that you remind me. Do you remember we have a failed, a video that never see the daylight? Ice cream. <laughs> what? Ice um, cream? It's got ice cream. Why, why did we shoot it? Uh? I, I can't remember. Also. I can't remember. Why or what? Why, why did we shoot it? <laughs> I don't know. La. I have this idea of this script. Uh, like, this lovey dovey script. Which did not work out. Actually, it's about... <laughs> what is it about? I know, but I remember, is it you? You made a music trailer out of me. Did I? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I think like you, like you say cannot, then I was like, oh, cannot. Then, then you like, you decide to take the footage and make some, make oh, some breakup, breakup <laughs> video script, like one minute I, only. I think I like, sort of remember. <laughs> no, I, I remember editing the ice cream video. Never I think, was, okay, so that was like when yeah. we first did dialogues. Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, yeah. So the dialogues didn't came out. It wasn't natural. It, it feels very off. To be honest, it felt un- uncomfortable. It <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's cringe lah. <laughs> but back then, cringe wasn't a vocabulary <laughs> that we had. I, I guess we wanted to make like very wong fu kind of. Yeah, things. we we did. We wanted to do yeah. like so. So I think I had a thing. I maybe also inspired by wong fu. That yeah. this thing about having moments. So sometimes I, I, at that point, I didn't think too much about like what is the full story, but it's just about shooting certain moments that may happen in a relationship yeah, yeah and ca- trying to capture that in, in the form of a, of a short film la, mm-hmm. or a video. La. Yeah. So I think ice cream was, <laughs> I don't even know why is it called ice cream. I, I, I mean, it has to do with ice cream, but I don't really re- fully remember the script. Yeah. But uh, when we, after we shot it, and then like the dialogues yeah the delivery was just bad la, yeah. essentially la. I, I am not trained actor <laughs> so yeah and, it, it's and not something that normal Singaporean would speak I guess yeah because we took like the scripting from like more the Wong Fu style yeah. then we tried to implement in the Singaporean context then we had tried to like I think we tried to Okay, no, no. I, that was another. That was the the again that shot. Uh, again shot. I remember. I was like, I go out and try to speak in more Singaporean. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking joke, right? Because I think we tried to speak normally. Yeah. And then I was like, very weird. That's like maybe I should. No. Is it the arguing scene? No. So no. Yeah. So the, the again the the narration. I did one take that was like purely Singaporean, <laughs> <laughs> and so it became <laughs> my crazy idea. <laughs> it's like fucking come eh? <laughs> I was like, no, 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 it's a fucking, <laughs> fucking disaster. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So so when we did the 
I scream, yeah. I think in the end we we scraped it because uh, it was like, yeah, cannot make it. Yeah. But we spent the effort, we shot it already. Right. Mm. But we just shot it within a day, like it was a very simple skit that I wanted to produce. Yeah. yeah. And remember you failed because the whole flow doesn't make sense on top of the audio also. I remember yeah. trying to edit and edit and edit. And and I remember Yan Yi was also asking when when I showed it to her, she was also like she don't understand the like what's the point? What's mm. the message I'm trying to send across? Yeah, and in my mind at the time, it's like, it's not about sending. I guess at that point, I didn't think about sending message. It's just about, just m- me wanting to express myself mm. or like, just create something that I thought was a nice moment. Yeah, so it wasn't so much about me trying to tell the audience something. Yeah. But yeah, so so that that was that. I think Horizon was the next one that we did. La. And this one got some scripting. You said you like Horizon. I like Horizon. <laughs> now I look I back, so it's a bit cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched any of this? Mm, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Later we should have a viewing. Oh, shit. <laughs> viewing party. <laughs> viewing party. <laughs> Later we order to time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Director's cut. <laughs> I'll be like, cut, cut, cut. Stop, stop the video. <laughs> scene no. by scene, you explain what, what, what is going on behind your mic. <laughs> oh my god. No, I remember when we first started dating, I tried watching. I couldn't get through. <laughs> <laughs> when we started dating, we were, we were, we were doing vlogs already. Yeah. We were doing more vlogs more than anything. Yeah, now. but then I tried to like, oh, he oh, got some... Uh, Short film. Yeah, Short so film. I was like, let me check yeah, it out. Yeah, then I clicked yeah. on it and I was like, so I remember Which your one? Hey Gloria, the airport scene. Oh, uh, yeah. This is when I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're <laughs> like, do I still want to date this yeah. guy? <laughs> Oh no, uh, that was my main flag. <laughs> I am the protagonist. He got this protagonist vibe. <laughs> <laughs> this when I, then that's when I, then I went back to like your vlogs. I was like, okay, this is better. <laughs> I can accept this. It's not natural. It's not natural. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, you know the Reddit thread is the I am a main character. <laughs> where people think that they are the main character of their, of their life. Yeah, maybe I <laughs> my video starting <laughs> videos I can put there. Yeah. <laughs> I am a main character. <laughs> yeah. Uh that was funny. But Horizon was uh Okay, like, Horizon was a lot better than Ice Cream. Because like. Horizon yeah. I guess we had a story yeah. behind it. Yeah. yeah. And the whole script also. Yeah. Anyway, all these yeah. things when we did, we never had like proper uh what do you call it? learning lessons or whatsoever mm. it's really just try and error and see what works what doesn't work and I guess it's also essentially we were shooting for ourselves lah. yeah we want to make something that we would want to watch in that sense mm. yeah we want to express also mm. yeah. yeah I remember doing all the angry scene in Horizon <laughs> <There's> the <laughs> yeah I don't know lah. It, <laughs> it was it was just playing around yeah that was interesting yeah then after that was uh I think the next one that was it was this the music video that we did. Yeah, that that What's is the music video. This is a moment. Yeah, so my friend approached me. Uh she said she wanted to give her friend this uh birthday present la, to make a, a short film, a video of a song that he he write he wrote and sang. Um so so we met up. So uh he's a is he a British guy, uh? Australian. He's Australian. Uh? Yeah. I think. I think so. Yeah. Is he Australian? I can't remember. Uh, more guy. Uh. So he... Yeah, I heard the song. Actually, it was quite nice. And uh, usually for me, I... Actually, I, I was also looking forward to make a music video because I, I guess, like, you know, I'm a... I love music. <laughs> That's what people say these days. <laughs> I love music. No, la, but... Like, when I listen to music, sometimes I can visualize scenes that goes with the music and with the lyrics yeah so so i thought it was a fun way to kind of like uh i guess express that or like put that into action yeah actually i'm quite proud of the music video to be honest same yeah because yeah that we there's interesting uh scenes or like ideas that we played around in this yeah. like the idea that he was in an accident but not really that the whole music video was actually him when he's unconscious. <laughs> then he woke up, right? Then there was the idea of breaking up the song before he enters the bridge. 
Then we add one more scene inside. Because yeah. the song is also not a conventional song also. Mm. It had a, I don't know, very very sudden change. In, mm. the, the bridge. Like, la, the, within the song. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember there's a, the bridge was a violin scene. Mm. It was a violin. The violin was the main part. La. So we, we searched for uh, someone who plays the violin. A lady who plays the violin. And she will be the, uh, the, the I guess, the female main character. Yeah, that the guy is longing for la. Mm. Yeah, so so that's how we we came about with the scene. Uh, I remember got, we went Changi Airport again. <laughs> I, I it's our favorite like, place. Yes, like, it's like I don't know like, There's something about like people Airports. living overseas yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so I remember got one running scene we had to reshoot, or like we m- forget to shoot that scene. Then we had to go down one more extra day, like separately when we are editing. We like we told Matt that we need to. I the running, the that. gimbal, follow gimbal. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the running scene. I think it was the... To yeah, me, towards think, the end. Yeah. To me, it's the nicer shot. Uh, Not at the airport, but at the, at the tunnel the, there. When, oh, yeah. uh, when when he yeah. ran back to yeah. find her, is it? And ran back to find her. Okay. And yeah. because <laughs> I remember, we I think I made a gimbal out of uh, PVC tubes. Is for this, man? Is it for this? I don't think it's for this one. I think it's earlier, no? I think it's Horizon. That's the the PVC. I made two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then so you I, spray black, right? Yeah, I still spray black. <laughs> I was watching all those video DIY. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, camera equipments are very expensive. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then in order to stabilize the shot, I think we had to have something to like have like three point of contact or yeah. anything like that. Something like that. So I, I we had to I had to DIY a gimbal out of PVC p- pipes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Just to save costs because we were poor students. Yeah. <laughs> but it worked out. It worked. Yeah. It did work somewhat. I think the gimbal from this is a moment was from Chris. No, yeah, we had the smooth one. Yeah. I still remember I brought my one also. Oh is it? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not wrong, if you go inside the music video in the tunnel scene, it was you holding this. No, there, there was some stuff lying. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the one scene. Then you see the floor. Yeah, <laughs> she very messy. It's all our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all our bags and uh, everything. I'm pretty sure the gimbal is inside the shot. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but yeah, but after that, I think that's where after we kind of graduated, really, right? Mm. We stopped making as much videos, but on off we still make one or two lah. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you started vlogging. No, you skip over my favorite video. Which one? Oh ma. ma. Oh, yeah. This one I did myself, like. No. You did the another one. The one about Qingming. Oh, that one I do myself. Yeah. Oh yeah, this we, one... it was for another oh, yeah, competition also. Oh yeah, then it didn't go through. Yeah. Because we Oh yeah, 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 yeah. it's for this. The Danny Girls. Girls. Yeah. Actually we think we will wanna. But yeah. I think the issue is that I don't think a hospital want to talk about death. Oh. <laughs> we didn't think through lah. Yeah. Yeah. Then we talked about it twice also <laughs> within the video. Also. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like so it's it. about I think it's about like more reflective uh way of talking about uh why uh what was it about? It's about just about a lot of like regrets. Regrets. Kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a like Happy Mother's it. Day, but. Instead of doing it in a cheerful way, we wanted to take a, I guess a, a more emotional way to express it. Mm. Like it's like don't wait until it's too late to say Happy Mother's Day kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, actually, I, I, I actually yeah, I, I did kind of. Oh uh, yeah, your name here, <laughs> Tan Xie <Xuan Zhe. laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it's so big. Eh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. Uh, but to me, to me, it's the most. I don't know. Eh. The narration is the most natural. I'm most comfortable with because it's in True. Chinese also. Yeah, I remember the script itself. Um, you wrote the script in English. Yeah, I wrote the script in English. I translated to Chinese. Then my wife proofread it because <laughs> 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 the Chinese is the best. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember doing all these things. Yeah, yeah you can see this my oh set my house set up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then we started working already. Like, yeah, this that time you started working. Yeah, first. yeah. Then I was still you're still yeah, studying. Was still studying. I think final year. Yeah. When was this? Ah, uh? May twenty fourteen. Yeah, I started working already. Correct. Mm-hmm. I started working. Yeah. Sad. Ah, uh, this one never got through the competition. But I remember the prize money wasn't much. Ah, uh. yeah, couple thousand dollars. Yeah, but but we, so we went to see the winners. They were like, oh, okay. 
I think ours too dark. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they, they didn't no choose wonder us. They didn't get chosen, no? Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Oh, this is your favorite. Actually, yeah, actually, I, I do like this quite a lot, so. Mm. Yeah. But so, th- what, what aspects of PR production do you enjoy working with Kenneth on? It's really the the whole process itself, I would say. Mm. It, because well, when, we sh- when we shoot a video, we. Because we both both of us also uh, got ideas to actually contribute the, to the video itself, la. Then to actually go through the process to make it work, mm. I think, oh, I think it's very fun, la. I think the full process is yeah, because we are in control in, from start to finish, yeah. yeah. So I think it's quite fun to have someone to like bounce the idea off each other, and then if it doesn't work, then we just laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh shit, let's let's try to sal- salvage this. Like we will think of ways to salvage certain parts and then like we would do it then we're like eh, is she not bad eh? <laughs> <laughs> we work yeah. like hey I think can work like eh? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how we, we feed on each other we're like yeah, yeah, yeah that seems to work let's let's go with this yeah mm-hmm. so so it's quite quite fun la, to, to go do all these things yeah but it does take out a lot of time yeah that's why I started doing vlogs now because I think okay I want to ask you like I remember I, I asked you before mm. like Will you consider yeah. doing this full time? Like, what what's the top process for your case? I but I don't really fully remember what you say. You say it depends, right? Yeah. How much we can bring in and stuff like that. Yeah, I think financially is the concern. Right. Uh, I think cause looking at the way, uh, to be honest, at that time the way that we were doing videos, we were spending like uh, how much <laughs> how many hours to do yeah, one video, true, true, true. and if we were to like get paid for one video, I was thinking, eh. It's like, let's say 1k, 2k, around there. Mm. Let's say wedding video. Typically, mm. it's around 1k, 2k at that. Oh, yeah. Rate. We were thinking about wedding videos. We right? thinking That's why we video. made a sister's wedding video. Yeah. And they did it for free. La. But I think I wanted to use it as like a... Portfolio. 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 To get started. Yeah. Then it's like, in 1k, 2k, then you still need to find customers. Then you still need to edit the whole day. It's like, it's like realistically, how many yeah. wedding videos can you produce in a month? Mm. It probably will be only free during the weekend or something like that. Mm. Of course, you can ask that. No, but if we do full time, we can do more yeah. lah. It's just whether we had a, if it's a two person, three person team, how many we can do? Yeah. yeah. At, at the point of time, I was thinking at least this is making videos at that time was fun. Mm. Yeah. So mm. I also didn't want to actually make it uh, like a that chore a, like that. Yeah. yeah. Like like a uh, work lah. Like work like that. Mm. Cause we were when we were both working, we were still making wedding videos, ma. Yeah. During during the weekends also. Yeah, here but, and there. You know, so I thought it was fun, la. Then also job stability, la. I'm yeah. Ty- typical Singaporean. So, <laughs> you, so you think about it, like if wedding video is, I mean nowadays I think the market it varies quite a bit. It mm. depends on, depending on what's the quality you want. Mm. If you want like multiple cameramen and stuff like that. Mm. You should go like few K up, which actually technically now is not a problem as long as you can hire a few yeah. freelancers, you can always get the extra hands, uh, extra legs on the ground. Um, but realistically, if you make like I don't know two wedding videos a month, it's also not enough mm. to to have a yeah. good decent, comfortable income la. Yeah, you probably need to make like four or five mm. at least, and each one charging like. 3 to 5k I feel yeah otherwise it's, it's very hard to kind of break even yeah. and have a decent income mm. yeah. you still need to rent the rent the car yeah like some, more, some more is, is the, the, the profit the revenue and the profit is split mm. yeah yeah. so so th- that's what makes it difficult la, to sustain a I guess proper for, stream for of income like, yeah, yeah and some more like realistically how many yeah, weekend you only can film weekend. People don't get married on weekdays. <laughs> but if right. you're a production agency, you probably won't just be doing wedding videos, right? You probably will have then go on to yeah. the government bulk tender and do government jobs. Maybe lah. <laughs> but the problem is like if you're a small team, actually now that previously I've been working in government, right? Mm. You, you know that the the kind of projects that they hire the the production house they hire won't be a small indie <laughs> mm. film house, right? It'll be a proper one established. Yeah, so I think also difficult lah. Yeah, I think the YouTube climate for in Singapore at that time also very different. Mm. There's a lot of um, how to say? Uh, if you remember night hours cinematic. Last time, time. Th- the period when we started, I think a lot of them doing listicles. Listicles. 
A lot of clickbait with uh, women. Uh, with women. <laughs> yeah. They're still, uh, still happening, what? Yeah. still happening. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if realistically, if we were to put out those videos, I remember that that time, I, I'm not sure, I think Butterworks was already... Sounds uh, familiar, Butterworks. Yeah, uh, really. They were doing, like, similar content, but way more high grade. Mm. Yeah. Then they were getting, like, very little views or so. Mm. Yeah. Isn't there something called Three Potato or something like that? Oh, the Garina yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they, they were... Were they three potato first? They were, they were something first. Then they were absorbed to Garina to do content. Then and then they branched potato. out. They wah came banana. out. Oh yeah, it was ah. Wah Banana. They were Wah Banana. Yeah. Then they, 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 the original gang yeah, left out. To, mm. to form three potato. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know whether they're still around. Yeah, I remember watching their videos a lot. Yeah. What was it? Like five, six years ago, right? More than that lah. Oh. Wow. I think I think around this period, eight, yeah. seven, eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. Then and now all that's left is what? Night Owl Cinematics. I think even still. <laughs> 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 no, no, cancel that part. You're <laughs> not going to shout out. Actually, I have no, no beef with him. La. I'm just not a fan of his work. He's the one <laughs> who's still doing the clickbaity with Zabo and the thumbnail, right? Yeah. He's still doing that content. I don't know whether he's still doing that though. Okay, he's he family is. guy now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think he's doing those already. Wow. Yeah. He's doing like some some videos Lots based on class or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Now he has also a small team. Then he had that beef with Dono. Yeah, so dumb one now. They have beef. <laughs> oh, the Singaporean beef are like uh, <laughs> the the quality of drama is damn shit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we, we so I started doing more vlogs. Yeah. And then I think vlogs was inspired largely from David So. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. I do watch him also. Yeah. yeah. David still do videos, David So. He, he do podcasts. Mm. Mm. More podcasts lah. Yeah. Then uh I know Casey Neistat also. Oh, was yeah. where we started following him quite a lot. He when he was vlogging every day for that two or three years non stop. Yeah. And then that was also quite inspiring. The same hustling. Yeah. So I remember specifically I was at a crossroad. Uh Right after graduation, I was I think I guess I can talk about it now. I don't. Haven't you mentioned that before? I feel like yeah, you have. maybe like in high flux for a month. Then I realized mm. like fuck this place because <laughs> 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 because they were making me work like to very very late, mm. even when I st- first started. And I had also had to start making had to start choosing work over my own personal uh meetings or like mo- my own personal appointments la. appointments la, yeah. that I want like with my friends and family or so on so I realized that if I stay on here uh, I have to make more and more of these kind of decisions mm. and uh, I, th- I think eventually I'll be burned out and feel very jaded from all these things yeah so I left so after I left I was I decided to uh, find a posi- position or job that gives me a bit more uh, I guess freedom in time Rather than like working late into past 1 a.m. and so on, a uh, job that at least let me go home on time so that I don't feel like I'm drained out when the weekend reaches. Yeah, because I think in High Flux, I remember specifically uh, like weekdays, you basically don't do anything. Uh, weekend, because you have been just away from home and just every day just doing work. Weekend, you just don't feel like doing anything else. Like, no, like, just you just want to let your brain rot. <laughs> Yeah, so when I left, I was looking for a job like this. Then it was in between employment. Like before I got my my job, next job, um, I was thinking how to approach this lah. Yeah, mm. whether YouTube can be a, a a thing. Yeah, and I think at that point I wasn't really convinced that I can make YouTube a thing as well. Yeah, but I knew that even if I want to, then I have to kind of get started and just make stuff. Yeah, so I tried to be a co- bit consistent. Then I became not very consistent. <laughs> you tried weekly vlogs. Yeah, right? so so that that story came about when I was actually in in ICT. <laughs> <laughs> so I met this guy. He's a entrepreneur, mm. and uh, he 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 has his own business lah. And he talked about him like hustling and like basically he he's doing all these things that he needs to do. Yeah, and I I, I kind of like got inspired from there lah because when we talk about it, I realized that. Um, like I won't go anywhere if I'm just producing one video every one or two months. Mm. 
I mean, that's what I'm doing now, but that's a different <laughs> story. But back then, I was like, shit, if I'm not do- just just like producing only when I, whenever I want. And anyway, I was also quite comfortable where where my job is. Like, the work-life balance was a lot better. Um, then I realized, okay, if I don't do anything, I won't go anywhere. I won't grow. So I decided to take on this challenge to... I imposed myself a challenge to make a video every week for mm. 10 weeks. Yeah. Which is what I did. La. So I started this period where I started doing a lot of video, I think. Mm-hmm. I think somewhere around. Yeah. Is it I, think, I think here. Yeah. Somewhere around here. I started like trying different kinds of videos, ideas. Like I make a few movie reviews. Uh, I shaved my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate for content. Shave my head. <laughs> I've been, been thinking about shaving my head for quite a while. Mm. La. Yeah. So after that, um I decided to keep Stop trying. You're all, you're always bald, la. After yeah, la. this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after this point, I'm always bald. Six years ago. Yeah. So after that I decided to keep trying. And I did it for about one and a half years. Uh, until the mm. viral video happened. Yeah. Chinese New Year. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I want to talk about it because I thought it's a very interesting experience. Yeah. To become uh, viral. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Like, like you, you like I'm, I've made so many videos. I can, in some ways, I also learned one thing is like, like, it doesn't fucking matter how much effort you put into the things you yeah. do. For, for the, when, when it comes to the internet. When, it only matters to yourself. <laughs> like, you feel proud that you pour in all this hard work and it pays off. It's only purely for yourself. But when it comes to whether the content is fun or exciting or interesting or not, it's, yeah, it, it has nothing to do, most of, I won't say most of the time, but like, it's a luck base lah. Yeah. Yeah, in some ways. There's like, no you can try to, you can try to encourage things to become viral. There are ways to do it, but there's also a component where it's really just out of control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like that video, the Chinese New Year video, I, zero idea that you go viral because I just thought it's one of those uh, many videos that I've done that's like a bit cynical sometimes yeah throwing a lot of vulgarities here and there and I thought it was a very funny video to react to yeah I think that was time where I also started thinking like maybe let me do some reaction stuff yeah then yeah it kind of blew up and that was actually that was around time we started we started dating I mean five years ago yeah (laughs) so so yeah, it was a very interesting experience. And actually, to be honest, at that point, uh, I I could have milked it. I feel like if I milked it, I could be somewhere. Like do also, more reaction oh, videos. Yeah, more more roasting videos on oh. on our on our media corp and stuff like that. I feel like I would have gone somewhere. Because a lot of people were started subscribing to me mm-hmm. because of that video, and it means that they are interested in that. Content form of content lah, la. yeah. But I feel like that path of roasting people, it's a, it's a very dangerous path. <laughs> you can go out of hand, and you can cross a line that you never thought you would. Mm. Yeah. So I I didn't really want to be that reaction roasting guy kind of thing on the YouTube scene lah. Mm. Yeah, like. That I felt like it was more like a one-off, which is why right after that incident, I addressed it, lah. Kind of like telling people that I'm not doing, gonna keep doing all this just because we have done well. But I knew that if I write on it, uh, I don't know whether it will be successful. I may have 10k subscribers now. <laughs> it's possible, possible. I think it, it's not difficult mm. if you if we sustain that 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 uh momentum. Mm. But yeah, I decided not to pursue it. Also, partly because of my job, lah. <laughs> cause yeah okay I, I guess I can talk about it now cause I have tendered my current job uh, yeah I work in the government service so maybe you can address this oh yeah <laughs> when was this okay so okay so I'm specifically I, I worked in Mindef okay uh, work working worked by the time this video comes out worked <laughs> So, uh, I remember that time they had a, you know, like 1st July is SAF day. Mm. So, they, they would celebrate uh, the armed forces, like, whatever, like, appreciation, all that shit. So, I decided to make a video to talk about, what did I, want, what did I talk about? Uh? The Lemis song, Yeah, so that was the intro. Oh. 
Yeah, so I put on my uniform and I think I put on a beret or something lah. And I I I made I delivered the block in that in in uh, the I uniform lah. Yeah. yeah, I think basically I talk about my time as a medic, and uh, how I appreciated my time in NS lah. Yeah, and I also did a shout out to the. I think they had like vouchers and merchants and whatever lah. So I put a link there. Yeah, and I I, I pump it up on put it on Facebook, uh, and share it. Uh, actually, a lot of my friends who are in the SAM I mean, they actually really like the video. Yeah, they thought it's very funny, very interesting. In fact, yeah, so the intro scene was me singing Les Mis in the, like, I... I, look, I look down. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. now, uh, Soldier 24601, <laughs> your down. time is up, your ORD is begun. <laughs> you know what that means? Yes, it means I'm free. <laughs> no, you means you go for ICT. <laughs> I spent two years to go ten more years. <laughs> You're an NS man. <laughs> <laughs> I am quite proud of it, la. It was quite. quite that, that was the time where I, I was. I just watched Les Mis, yeah. so I really liked the music, and I thought, oh, that, I can do a creative spin to it. Yeah, but um, so one day I think I think within the week itself, I don't think the video has huge traction. There's like four hundred views on YouTube, maybe. Yeah, I have a couple of um. Uh, people in the service sharing on their Facebook. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so it got the attention to the army site, which they deemed that that video was inappropriate. Because, I mean, the reason I was given was that because I was in the army uniform. Oh. So, so in the army, they're very uh, particular in how you present yourself when you're u- wearing the uni- uniform. Yeah. So, which I realized, oh yeah, la, that's true. La. It didn't cross my mind. But, but in, there's a lot of videos, man, like with... In know, uniform, But no, right? so, yeah, so the issue, the issue was that I was still in service. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not, uh, I wasn't a regular, um, like I wasn't a regular force, but um, yeah, I was still part of the system, so-called. So they asked me to take it down, uh, which I find it like, I was uh, I was upset. Why was I upset? I was upset because it's like I wasn't even putting the I was I wasn't even putting the SAF down. I was trying to show my support mm. to the armed forces, and yet they deem it as something negative. Maybe they think that you are trying to instigate a revolution, <laughs> 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 a coup d'état. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, so I was very upset because it's like to me, like the intention were good and. Mm. It's not like there were any negative traction on that video in any way. And, and they were so narrow-minded to feel that that was not a good video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I told them I will just privatize it. Off. Like, mm-hmm. or like unlist it. Then they, initially, I just say unlist. Then they're like, oh, but unlist you can search, right? I was like, dude, mm-hmm. if no one shares, nobody's going to search for it. Yeah. Right. At least I want it to be up for people who still want to watch it. Yeah. Then they're like, no, they don't want it to be unlisted. It has to be re- taken down. Taken down. Uh. Then I just set it to... I think I just set it to private. Uh. I think after... I, I was going to put it up again. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the survey anymore. I, won't. I also I also finished my NS cycle already. It's like nobody can... can I can I need to give a fuck to any of this. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to put a... <laughs> <laughs> Go and watch it. And it will be it will be popping out over there. <laughs> Should we put yeah. ice cream also? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the videos no. that didn't make like. I, I, mean, honest, I don't know whether ice cream is still in. <laughs> it might be inside. Of. I don't think, think so. so like, I don't think so because it didn't even get past the edit stage. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but I'm very curious to find that that music trailer that you did. <laughs> I don't know whether it's still there. No. That's the that's the funniest part. Yeah. I think maybe it's not there. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So so yeah. after that, I was um, I just like jaded lah. Like, fuck lah. I I'm not gonna support this uh organization on my own platform anymore. I think that is, if you if you look at my like social media, I never really post about my work stuff or like mm. show that I, I'm proud of the work that I do. I think last year also it was influenced by that incident. Mm. Yeah, mm. like like I why do I need to care about this organization? Yeah, who who shot down something that I did that I feel like it was a in good 
faith. Yeah, in good faith. I think don't have it. It's not even private. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, but that, that Damn it! Do you think if I go by visibility, private? Oh no! This is the oh the SF the SF day one. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make it private pu- public now. Fuck you. SF. <laughs> 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 You see, hundred percent likes there. Eh? Four hundred views. Yeah, I still remember. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think Gloria was hundred percent likes. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the most disliked video was actually the viral video, yeah. the Chinese New Year video. Yeah. So yeah, that that was the story of that 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 YouTube video that I asked to take take down. Yeah. Oh, specifically about. I don't know, have, have I shared this Starman reach out? I don't remember that. So it was uh the so-called political video that I did. I instead of talking about politics, I make fun of uh I basically try to appeal to Mr. Taman to hire me as his <laughs> public publicist or, or social media manager or some shit lah. Yeah, so in that video, I tried to draw reference like, oh, we are actually the same people. We look the same. <laughs> <laughs> and making fun of all these like bot jokes and stuff, stuff like that, like boarding jokes or whatever. So oh, apparently, I, yeah. I remember, you mentioned something about staying in Taman. God. <laughs> taman. Oh, Taman, taman for Taman. taman. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, know that's like the that. tagline, like, Taman for Taman or something <laughs> like that. Like. Yeah. <laughs> then, I think his, because I tag, so I don't know exactly how he reaches him. But I know that uh, I got tagged him in the video, in the Facebook post. Mm. Uh, I was someone from the again, grassroots reached out to me. And then he said that, oh, uh, Taman saw the video and he liked it. And like, oh, maybe you want, let's have a chat or something. Oh. So after I talked to him, I found out that somehow his wife saw it first. His wife thought it was funny and asked Taman to watch it. Yeah, then uh yeah. So uh, the discussion with that guy, uh, it didn't go anywhere because I think at the point he was like, oh, like there's someone who makes videos for fun and mm-hmm. so on. So they try to engage me and ask me whether I want to consider helping out, uh, the community in that sense. Like, oh, maybe I can give lesson or volunteer or whatever oh. when it comes to videos and stuff. Yeah, but I straight up told him that like, uh, yeah, volunteering is not like uh, I'll consider it as like high in my. <laughs> priority or passion la. you know like I don't mind helping out on off here and there but like, regularly to contribute my time to doing all this I don't think I can do that la. but I'm happy to try out anything if they need my help whatsoever they can reach out to me which nothing happened after that <laughs> <laughs> yeah then uh, so you're supposed to volunteer for the GRC uh, what, the grassroots I guess so maybe like they want to conduct community classes or whatever maybe I could teach kids Oh, about okay. video editing, about <laughs> making see. videos. Yeah, that could be one of the things that I could help out with. Lah. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not very... Charitable. Uh, charitable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'm not very charitable. But uh, yeah, then after that, what happened? Uh? Oh, that, that's that. Lah. Then the other one who reached out was the J team, mm. the Jack Neil. That oh. was after the Chinese New Year video. Oh, after I saw Media Corp, I think they found it funny or so. Yeah, then they reach out, ask me for ask me for my number. Uh, yeah, give me a number. Nothing happened nothing. after that. <laughs> <laughs> I think called they did, they see my career didn't <laughs> <laughs> the trajectory went down. They were monitoring. Like, yeah, about this guy. <laughs> I think we can drop him. <laughs> yeah, the, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, so who knows? Maybe you could have been one of the uh, boys. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. I could be a script writer. Yeah. Imagine a uh, girls duo army. Is that the title? I think <laughs> I'll kill myself. <laughs> I think that's when I had to reconsider our relationship. Mega <laughs> red flag. <laughs> I, I have... Okay, I don't specifically mention what is it, but I have seen through script by Mediacorp mm. uh, because they wanted to work with the organization. Uh, yeah, it's always a pain to read. <laughs> but then you think Mediacorp is not JT, man, right? No, no, Mediacorp, Mediacorp. Yeah. But you think JT is a lot better? No, they're probably the same standard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, sometimes I look at all these things, sometimes I look at the Singapore landscape or media landscape. I was wondering like, what went wrong? <laughs> yeah, it feels quite yeah. sad. 
Like, is it a numbers issue? Like, we don't have enough people doing all these things? Is it because we're not paid enough? Because I'm quite sure there are talented people who are able to write good script mm. and good stories around Singapore. Cannot mm. be that there's very little or don't have. Yeah, I feel like they are just... Uh, either they have been set in a path that discouraged them to pursue that or mm. that the really good ones are not in Singapore anymore. They mm. left the country to pursue. Or probably because the really good ones find the kind of scripts they can write or produce mm. are not up to their artistic standards maybe because mm. I mean Mediacorp is very restricted and kind of topics they yeah. can discuss or so. actually they are yeah mm. so they are, I think it might be a structural issue so structural? no systemic systemic issue yeah because specifically I went for part time diploma script writing uh, it was uh, by by this institute that is actually under Mediacorp Mm. So the, the instructors are like they, they have years and years of experience in Mediacorp. Some of them they are not in Mediacorp anymore. La. So one of them he's a producer. He's still a producer, but uh he doesn't he do freelance like he doesn't report under Mediacorp. So he explains that he because we had a discussion and I asked him about what his thoughts were and what are the issues. He specifically mentioned the main issue with why Singapore's uh media landscape is so cheap or like uh, why our script writers are not good enough whatever is because um, of censorship mm. Mm. yeah because actually a lot of the shows that you see on TV sadly is funded by the government <laughs> it's because we don't have enough uh, the market not very big yeah advertising they're not getting enough money from advertising mm. is it the, that's why they got the IMDA logo at the end of oh day. is it yeah probably mm. Yeah, so because of that, right, and because if you're taking money from government, making mm. those s- stories or, or shows, you mm. they are being held back la, from some, some of these things. There's la. a public broadcasting standard or something like that. I think so. Mm. Yeah, mm. For, yeah, for Singapore as yeah. well. So, yeah, the censorship actually hold back a lot of the kind of uh, themes that they can explore, mm. the stories they can they can tell. Yeah, and that also kind of translate to the kind of stories that you see. Mm. Then I guess a lot of people, I would assume a lot of good script writers may have left because mm. they realized like that they couldn't grow yeah. in this I guess they were like, fuck area. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't know. Le. I it, think it's the money. Le. Mm. I think yeah. it's a lot about money. It's a lot of money. Actually, Singapore, there's great films also. Uh. Our market too yeah. small. Uh. Yeah. If you talk about localized content, uh, we don't have an international audience. Yeah, so that Lee really has an international audience. Is <laughs> it? He yeah. does? Kind of, la, yeah. He has. Oh. His videos are actually quite a number of international people. Like not out- just Singaporeans. Oh. Yeah. Like regional or like Ang Mo also will watch? I think it's international. Yeah, oh. Western also. Yeah. That's why he gets millions of views also. Oh. Yeah. Mm. If it's Singaporean, then typically you will get... Um, 10k, 300k. If you're just Singaporeans, yeah. yeah. Mm. You can't sustain that kind of viewership. Yeah. One meal, like, imagine you have one meal Singaporean, uh, you're reaching like mm. 20, 10, 20% of the population. Eh. That's huge. Eh. Yeah. yeah. I don't think, I don't think the broadcasting <laughs> even have that number. So, yeah. yeah. If you oh. just purely Singaporean, so I don't think they have that number. Amazing. Yeah. I guess it's thumbnails work. <laughs> thumbnails are very important mm-hmm. I haven't upped my games on thumbnail thumbnail is is can be a thumbnails okay so I found out thumbnails and titles contributes a lot to how well your videos are doing mm. uh, yeah you can see broadcast not really actually <laughs> I, I recently changed a bit uh, thumbnail uh, I make our faces bigger oh eh shit Like our faces are bigger now. Last time mm. we always, I always just keep it, keep it simple. Mm. Yeah, but I decided that let's put our faces bigger. <laughs> Not sure whether that will help. I think I, it helps. I it, guess yeah. the is he got higher views. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know lah. I'm just saying. Yeah, but thumbnails and video also is a signpost to what kind of content the video is about, ma. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I mean, I, I myself when I'm scrolling through my feed, I'm like, oh, okay, then I'll watch that, cause ah, okay, that's the kind of then content I want. Then you do like some weird things, then you need to put arrow <laughs> and then put big words, <laughs> make a funny face. Yeah, I mean sometimes I, I do it lah. Click big title. La. I try to be here and there lah, but yeah, it is what it is. 
So, but nowadays, do you, do you, are you still doing any form of creative work or videos? I know actually, for your, I, do, like, I know your, yeah. your, your what, what's your day job? I'm an engineer. Engineer. Oh. I'm an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, like, I do. Uh, in, in my in my work, I do help to make videos mm. uh, for my for my company la. Mm. It's more of those like more corporate related videos. Like internal also. comms. Internal comms like that, like showcase the company's culture, mm. value, etc. So so one of the video that I did for 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 my uh, company is actually um uh, uh our my our story la, our that company mm. story. So it's we what we did is really to interview like people inside the company and then uh source source for idea stories then try to see whether it fits to the certain uh company value or not then try to make it into a story law. But this is a very comms role, very, eh? very comms role. Yeah. Eh? What is the comms department doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is supposed to be what the comms team need to do. Yeah. How come they're not doing it? Oh, HR la. HR, HR, HR la, no but I guess it's, it's because mm. it's more, like within the department itself, like within the site itself, we also want to try to have something internal also. Oh, oh that reminds me, we did show this to Global Comms also, mm. but it was shut down because it didn't, like, I think it's the same thing, it didn't align, some of the things didn't align with the, uh. Uh, with the, with the, uh, with the company values. Then, there was one scene within that, that shot itself. One one shot there was a we, we shot along the corridors of like the HDB. So you know HDB like sometimes if you are Christian you will put the cross over mm. there. Uh, so, so it there's was a part saw a cross. Yeah. So 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 that wasn't like because we are not supposed to put anything religious inside oh. the, the so strict the, uh. Yeah. So oh. global comms, yeah. Sort of like wasn't Really too fancy about it lah. So we, wow. we kept it internal lah. Yeah. So just within the Singapore team lah. Within the Singapore team itself. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But, but I still do like videos and stuff lah. Yeah. For your own for, stuff? For your own no la, personal? For, for my own... My I know you did your proposal video. Yeah, that proposal was the last video I remember seeing. My marriage video Yeah. La, yeah. Correct. That, that's the only one lah. But to wait, be honest... Where is it up on you, Facebook lah? Do you put on YouTube. Facebook? Do you put on YouTube? YouTube, oh. YouTube. But I think I privatized it. <laughs> <laughs> At first I wanted to do like, oh, the one year I've been anniversary, then I post it public. Like, oh. I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> one year, how many two years, years already? Yeah, awkward yeah, now. Awkward, awkward now. <laughs> post now also awkward. Ten and why later we'll have a director's <laughs> viewing. <laughs> Wait for your 10 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> must set aside your calendar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I should continue and edit it. Then with my son, yeah, then continue. <laughs> the story. It's like the one whole story. Then at the end of like my whole life, then it's like one whole tri- documentary of my whole, <laughs> whole, whole life. Yeah. So do you think that like, like you, you doing this at mm. work has helped you in one way or another? Like, it, it's still sh- it, it's still fun to me la, To be honest, okay. it's still fun to me. Of course, there, there's always the deadlines or etc. But mm, mm. it because I don't do it on a day to day basis, mm. then I. To me, at least for now, I don't find it a chore. Lor. And then I also get to tell um, the story uh, in my own, I, I guess, language also. Mm. I think the hardest thing lor, was to actually relearn editing. Because <laughs> oh. most of the edits were in film productions were done by you. So later on, yeah. Later, later on, on, I, I did yeah. most of the editing. And I remember some of the some of the flow I had to get used to it also. Mm. Yeah. I think the one of the biggest things that I've learned in my one and a half years of doing weekly video Mm. was my speed of editing mm. i think just doing so regularly and like certain things i realized okay i'm always doing this action in this way is there a faster way to do it mm. yeah then over time you slowly optimize how you do things like start to use shortcuts a lot more rather than like click 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 <laughs> click then you realize that you just press a button you can yeah drag that thing yeah so so yeah that one and a half years really taught me a lot la because I, I was just doing editing, editing, editing. So I also learned more about pacing, uh, learn more about, uh, I guess, like every now and then I also go back and watch some of my videos and mm. I'll think about like how I would have done it better. Yeah. Last time it's a lot more click cuts. Mm-hmm. But nowadays I try to, I, I, I like to drag things out. Drag things out a bit. Like it's okay for me to to skip over words or like to to stumble over words I think this feels more natural also mm. if too much jump cut it also becomes very distracting mm. yeah 
So so those are a lot of things I learned. Uh, I think all this editing also does help me a lot in my work lah. Cause my role mm. has also evolved more towards making videos. Um, and also I think my experience in my job also made me we look at what's my relationship with with uh, making videos lah. Mm. Um, I think last time I was like had this idea that maybe I really want to have a possibly have my own production house uh, making videos all the time but I think like what you also pointed out about um, making videos as your job like your own personal video as a job I think it, be, it I won't say it tarnish the relationship but it makes the the relationship with your hobby or what you love a mm. bit more transactional to a certain extent yeah Sometimes like, you are forced to do things that you don't want yeah, to deliver. Let's say correct. it's a client work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in that one and a half years that when I made video, there were, I think there were pros and cons. The pros is that actually it puts me in a position where I constantly keep thinking about content, what mm-hmm. to do, what what to do, what to push out, and I I don't like slack off and just like chill. Like mm-hmm. I always looking out for inspiration and try to do things, but at the same time I also had to learn with the fact that I need to push out subpar videos. Mm things that I don't really believe in I don't really care but I like, just wanted to meet the timeline and wanted to yeah. put something out for the sake of putting something out and I think that's a experience that will translate more clearly or like it becomes more prominent when you do it as a full-time job yeah, yeah when you need to constantly be pushing out something because if you don't do anything you're not earning money mm. right essentially yeah. yeah so for the sake of survival you will do something you push out something you may take a sponsorship that you don't really believe in mm-hmm. Yeah. And they get cancelled for it. Yeah, they get cancelled. <laughs> oh, mystery box, look box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I guess like in my job, I also had got, got to work a lot with uh, production houses. Mm. Uh, see how they work, uh, how they do things. Uh, work with creative agency also, see how they do things. And I realised that's not really the life kind of life I want to live. La, because I think... I think shout out to all the people who have to work in production houses and so on. Like the work is sometimes a bit ty- very tiring. La. Especially when you're producing a work that is not for yourself. Mm. Yeah. When you're you are I'm I mean, I'm always usually on the client side, but I can tell like the frustration la, like you do things and the client nitpicking on certain things that sometimes you're like like you you want to remove this, then this whole Thing don't don't make sense anymore. But mm. sure, you, if you want to destroy this product, I'll let you destroy this product. Mm. You have to go through a lot of this kind of like thought process and frustration uh, when you work on all this. Yeah, yeah. And I so so I kind of like reevaluated my relationship with making videos. And yeah, I in some ways I still enjoy making stuff la. Like I mean, there's a reason why I'm started doing podcasts. Mm. It just it's it's just a way. I think firstly it's because I largely inspired by a lot of people online was doing podcasts. I think Ryan Heger was doing podcasts. David that, So was doing podcasts. Right? Yeah, that one got already. Then David So mm. doing podcasts. Who else? Ah? Your Trash Taste. Eh? Trash Taste that time haven't come. Oh. We, were, we, we were earlier than Trash Taste. Eh? Wow. <laughs> and then they call me subs. <laughs> they are already subs. <laughs> 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 they more subs than us. Uh, who else? Ah? I can't remember. But yeah, like like seeing all this, I was like, hey, you know, maybe, and also like with Yvette, sometimes I feel like our conversation can be quite interesting, like mm. the topics that we cover. So I wanted to, I think that it would be a fun way to bring that out. And I wanted to try something different. La. Yeah. Which is why you have all the equipment and all the mics and stuff. I you always started like with what? One camera? One, uh, one camera in our and room, then now, remember? And now you have... In, our, in my room. Really? Our first few episodes is in my room. Uh. Oh. Then I bought the cheap mics, huh? The oh, thirty dollar one, yeah. the Shopee one, and we use those as our mics. And then now it became this. Yeah, it became three this. camera setup, <laughs> three mics. Yeah, I have a voice recorder. A yeah. zoom zoom what six ah? H six. H six eh. Yeah, <laughs> I bought this uh, um carousel. <laughs> it works well though. But the original price is like thousand plus. And you bought for how much? Three three four hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So quite worth it. Yeah. Oh, and then you bought this table. And you bought these chairs. No, we had a, <laughs> another table previously. Oh, the big the round one. The smaller one. The smaller oh. round one. That was too cozy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Too cozy. It was too cozy. If it's 3%, it's too cozy. 2% was just nice. Yeah, so that way for like 20, 30 bucks. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Oh, I also have interesting. Uh, what do you think about uh, ev- advice for YouTube? Like, if someone wants to, so I have okay contact. I have a friend who, okay. who came to me one day out of the blue. I was like, hmm. <laughs> is he selling like, insurance? Is he insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he came over. We we hang out and talk about it lah. So he he did consider doing YouTube, and he was asking me for advice. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? Why well, he, don't do but, it. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, somewhat my mind is more nuanced <laughs> somewhat okay. the same message but more nuanced but wait why he want to do YouTube yeah. I think that's important so mm. yeah so um, so he owns a business uh, business is doing okay okay but I think he's kind of bored of the business and he wanted to try something different mm. meanwhile uh, so he did consider like what other side things that he could do and I guess he also partly inspired because Usually when you want to do YouTube, sometimes it's also because you enjoy certain content on YouTube that you watch. Like for us, it was like Wong Fu, yeah. was like, I don't know, other short film or like comedy skits or whatever that we saw online. Uh, for him, it's more like he he listens to a lot of like, I guess, financial advisors, uh, <laughs> like oh. motivational kind of content. I don't think got Dharma, 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 or something. Not Dharma, not Dharma, Dharma. It's the, D-H-A-R-R-M-A-N or something. Very, 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 like, skits about, like, life lessons, you know, like, don't look down on people poorer okay. than you, you know. Yeah. Or, it's like, like very you know, don't lame. disrespect. Then the, the, the story, like, the plot is, like, very obvious. You can see, like, 3,000 miles <laughs> ahead, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's but quite, I think it's a very well-produced Shots, yeah, yeah, it's very, very high well, production value. Right, one, right, so it's really weird. Yeah, you should go and check it out. Actually, it's no quite idea. funny. Yeah, I see a lot of people reacting, like PewDiePie also reacted to, to some of those okay. videos. Yeah, it's quite funny, la. but uh, yeah, so he, he, I guess he he feel like maybe he also has some uh, words of wisdom to share, sort mm. of, or like certain things that he want to talk about and share about. I was like, fair enough. Like, I mean, there's so many genre on YouTube, right? Mm. I mean, just because I don't consume it doesn't mean okay. it's not viable or like there's no audience for it. But I think he started, the way he was telling me was that he might want to see this as a alternative, uh, I won't say career, but alternative income source oh. to kind of grow a channel and, and maybe share his experiences of being an entrepreneur and stuff like mm. that. So... He asked me like, what do I need or what equipment do I need and stuff like that. Lah. And what setup, what, what do I need to look out for? So I told him straight up that uh, like if you're doing this for the money, don't do it. <laughs> I agree yeah. also. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not, it's not gonna keep, you're not gonna do it all the time. And I think over time you will feel very jaded and you'll feel burnt out from it if you're doing it for the money. And like, yeah, you need to go into doing YouTube. I think it still applies to now, like, even then and now, is that you need to go into doing YouTube without any expectations. Yeah. yeah you expect yourself to not have viewers. Like, like at least for me also, when we were starting up PR Productions, when we were doing the videos itself, mm. I also, YouTube, earning money from YouTube was, wasn't even on top of, mm. at least my head. Yeah. It was really to come up with this, like, this video, then something that at least, um, uh, it's like writing an essay you write already mm. after that you put it out there if people enjoy so be it lah. Yeah. Mm. and then if people like and share that is bonus lah. at least yeah. to me itself it's something that uh, we produce together something mm. that mm. it is our own story yeah. yeah. but to actually make it um, uh, mon- monetizing it then after that all the KPIs are already <laughs> different already yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to think about how to clickbait people. Yeah. You need to put <laughs> you think of uh, thumbnails, then you need to it's actually you just stick to one formula if it really generates mm-hmm. income, then you just keep producing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's the grind line, just grinding. Oh. Yeah, no. yeah. So so yeah, I did tell him all this like like equipment wise also if anyone of y'all are listening who who are thinking about doing all this, not saying that you shouldn't do it. I think it's about your intentions, la, mm. what you want to get out of this. Yeah. Yeah, if you are intending to, uh, tr- thinking that is a you can get rich, you must understand that of how many millions of people on YouTube creating content, mm. only this small handful of people, uh, are able to do it as a full time career and able to sustain it. And in fact, the the whole YouTube game is a, unless you are really like at the top, like PewDiePie, ah. Uh, who is able to do content and just do for fun and doesn't really care about writing trend and he still can get by. 
unless you're there, right? You, every all other channels, I feel, uh, they are always playing a catch up, catching up game. Mm. You're always constantly trying to write on a trend, constantly tr- looking at what one up other people to do something crazier, better. Yeah. And it, it never ends. Even if you have one good hit, right? You you are never satisfied with one good hit. You 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 are trying to produce hit after hit after hit. Hmm. And I think it's uh actually most of them they sustain not just by producing hit was they have to sell out in a way what to yeah. take sponsorship. In some ways, yeah. La, yeah. So yeah, it's it's a non stop chase la. I think it's a bit like social media. That's part of the reason why I so it I, is I social media, but yeah. a lot of YouTube stars are social media stars. Yeah, also. like like I so don't like there was a point where I like to push up things more on social media, but at a point nowadays, I guess maybe because I'm older now, I don't really see a point <laughs> in doing it. Like, so what if thirty people like this post about me doing certain things? Like, like so what? It doesn't change anything, you know. Like, yeah, it is still what it is. So, so what was his reaction? So I think he, I think he haven't get started. <laughs> <laughs> Is but I kind of true uh, bomb lah, huh? Is it is it something that is recent? Um, I think maybe late last year, October oh, maybe. Quite recent. Yeah, it's quite recent lah. A few months ago only. Yeah, but um, yeah, I told him like you, if you want to do it, you do it because you enjoy it and you are having fun with it. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. If you don't find the fun in it, uh, I I feel like the most successful people they. Other than a few who really try hard and play the and try to game the system and uh, like look at the formula, what the formula works, mm. I feel like the really the ones that who are able to do it long term, uh, are people who genuinely enjoy the process of mm. creating all these things, yeah. So yeah, unless you are one of you are not one of those, then I think it will be difficult uh, to 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 carve something out of all this. Mm. Yeah. That was, that was interesting. Anything else you want to share? What's Any? your favorite video? YouTube or my own? Your own. <laughs> Pure production. <laughs> <Pure> production. <laughs> favorite. But my 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 oh, sense my of, babies. <laughs> sense of <laughs> my sense of con like what I enjoy from content has changed mm. over time. Uh like I, I moved away a bit more from the short film style ish kind of thing. The the horizon kind of uh. yeah the scripted video to more. Now You're also podcast. streaming now, what? Yeah, yeah, but streaming is like nowadays it, the streaming my relationship with streaming is like a bit on off one. <laughs> like sometimes I really enjoyed it, sometimes I find it a chore. Yeah, so I realized I cannot be a full time streamer. <laughs> 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 I think streaming is the same thing as YouTube. Uh. Yeah. you need to grind. You need to keep doing it, and there are times where it's sometimes you get sick of a game, uh, you cannot stop, you must keep playing. And then I feel like mm. that makes me very miserable. Because mm. sometimes I feel like, I feel obliged to complete the game. Then after a while, I was like, why do I need to feel obliged? If I don't play, then I don't play. Mm. It's not like, uh, the world's going to burn down. <laughs> I, I'm going to disappoint that one or two viewers. Shout out to Bifog. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry for disappointing you for not streaming. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm more like, I, that's the good thing about not depending any of this for money yeah, la. like if I do it when I find it fun I think that's for me that's a very important factor in keeping myself going mm. yeah but nowadays uh, I do like so one of the other videos that I'm proud of I don't know whether I'm proud of but like I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I I did it was the Korea travel vlog oh the one mm. with a lot of effects yeah that one, I really put in a lot of effort in trying to make it look good. Yeah, and I really explore around what are the things that I can add in to make it look interesting. And I also edit it to the music, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so I kind of enjoyed that video a lot. I still look back at it fondly. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh? Actually, I also don't really remember. To be honest, the Chinese New Year video, I uh, didn't really even find it that <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> but people fucking love it, lah. I don't know why. It's so in the right place, right time also. Right? <laughs> yeah. They just had to do that weird dab. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like our... The Ken in Japan, the one hour video. Oh. The very low-fi, chill. The first ever Japan trip. For you, lah. Yeah. Mm, reaction video. Actually, if you talk about wedding video, maybe my sister's one, uh, the first one that we did. I thought that was... 
Yeah, that was quite interesting. I think scripting was quite fun to do. And we also do like the strings. Yeah. And like we think about what the string represents and how, how to convey that story. I don't know. That, that's the thing. I don't know whether people understood the references. I, I never knew. Yeah, but I knew. I know the references and I enjoyed like showing the development of the stories through using some of these uh, metaphors, I guess. Yeah. They probably know that. <laughs> it, it, it appeared in some other Chinese music video before also. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. The, the but, color strings. Yeah, but strings is like a very simple metaphor. La, that but I remember it was the most tiring video for me. Oh. Also, we had to chase... Uh, some, <laughs> at at one run. point, they had to run. Yeah, yeah. Then we had to chase. And when, they, when we run, then the camera was like... <laughs> <laughs> in some part, you can see... Yeah. <laughs> Like after ten takes, I cannot, I cannot. Really. <laughs> I need a rest first. <laughs> They're like, hey, no time already. So I got to set already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I think that was one, uh, one of my favorite. Uh, I do like the music video. Mm. Oh yeah, surprisingly, I told you before, right? The one of the one of the best performing videos now is the, is the NUS video, that we did. Huh. The the food video. It has become one of the. Top videos and because of my face, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's because of your uh, face. Very interesting, very funny. Inside there, got one comment. It's like he wants to get into NUS. <laughs> <laughs> Please help. <laughs> I was like, what? Why are you asking me for help? I guess people were searching like NUS. Then suddenly your face and yeah. my face pop up. <laughs> yeah. You see, if you look at uh popular uploads, you see. Oh, hey, our faces aren't in it also. Eh. I don't it's understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a, you know that it has, <laughs> it has been growing. Like, I don't know why it's been going up, you know. Like, it was like top 10. Yeah. Then over time, it sees the most growth. Yeah, you see, it has, if you take over, this one was like our best video for very yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Because I think Matt, he has a. His side, his also. side also. He publicized it from his side. Yeah. So his friends and families were watching it. Yeah, but this one is. And it's four years ago. Eh? Maybe it's time to go back. Do, uh, yeah. Huh? Maybe we should. But you got time or not? <laughs> you know <laughs> That's the, the problem. The engine canteen, what is it called? Take no age. Yeah. Uh. Renovator, right? Yeah. I heard renovate. Oh, yo. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Uh, it has aircon now. Eh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I think we should go back. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. See here. Uh, well, makes me nostalgic. Please help me. I am from India. Even I want to study in NUS. If you can help, please reply. <laughs> 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 and someone reply. I, I don't know what you're really uh. saying. <laughs> No idea. Yeah, her business canteen also closed down already. I think anyway has changed quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should go back. You got time lah. No. I got time in March, eh? You have a time <laughs> lah. We can plan something. We can plan something. <laughs> yeah, I think my but must go can. weekday though. <laughs> yeah, but must go weekday though. That's the problem. Oh yeah. yeah. Because we end most of the We end is, yeah, most of them is closed. Close, ah. Yeah. Some, some Wait, of the it's, not it's not holiday yet. Mm. Now it's April. April's not April, what am I saying? Now, now it's, it's March. Yeah. I, no, now it's Feb. Now it will be March. When no. the video comes out, it will be March event. <laughs> uh, I think the midterm break, oh. there's a midterm break, then after that, should, should after that shouldn't be... Mi- but midterm break, anything. they will have less... The, most of the restaurants will be... Uh, no, the, the canteen stores will be closed. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can arrange, la. we see how. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that's about it, la, this podcast. Hope you guys enjoy this. I think it's fun to look back on some of these things. Nostalgia. Uh. Yeah. It's been a long journey though. It's, but it doesn't feel like it because I guess I'm not, I'm not like constantly churning things out. Mm. Yeah. I, except for that one and a half years that I did the weekly video. That one was really feels, felt like I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. I got burned out la, towards the end which is why I, I stopped doing it. Mm. Um, Hopefully this March, March I'm free-ish. Uh, I might want to do one or two videos. There's a video that I've been putting aside, which is the Secret Lab versus Herman Miller oh, video. I right. talk about it for so long, yeah. right? Herman Miller show wins. Uh. <laughs> you won't know until <laughs> you watch the, you watch the next video. Shh, shh. Yeah, you watch the next video. I'll do a comparison. <laughs> la. Yeah. Then uh, we may be going to Australia. Mm. Mm. Yeah, what do you mean may? I already asked my oh, boss. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, thanks for coming. No problem. I feel like I talk a lot more than 
<laughs> than any than either of us. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. It's just a can like, I should have just do a monologue. Yeah. Well, it's called a podcast, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll do one more. Maybe you know, ten years from <laughs> now, <laughs> twenty years. Hey, do you remember? Hey, what, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what was it about? <laughs> hey, stop running around. <laughs> you kids, you got kids already. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh. Yeah, if y'all got any questions about... Uh, I'll try to put up the links of the videos that we talk about along the way uh, on YouTube so that you oh, know... You want to share to... the cringe? Uh? I mean, it's already out there. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, I haven't done anything that is worth cancelling. <laughs> Being cancelled for. But, uh, yeah. Oh. I got experience of this. Do I want to share it? You, we shot this together, right? Yeah. Okay, never mind, la. I guess it's a story for another time. <laughs> your 20th anniversary. Yeah, PL20. Hashtag. Okay, put your hashtags in. Hashtag PP10. <laughs> PP10. Production 10. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.